Alrighty. Okay, hey guys. So today it's um, we're gonna learn about a social science uh, discussion question, and it's with sixth grade students. And our question for today is, um, and I want you guys to let me know what you guys think. Is betrayal always bad? Yes, Gatash. It depends for like who you're betraying. For the person that you betray, it would probably be bad. But for the other side, it wouldn't probably be bad. Okay. Okay, I agree. And then like, what does it mean to betray someone? You guys can raise your hand. Yeah, go ahead. Take away like their trust for you. Okay, take away trust. Does anyone want to answer that question? No? Okay, so let's go ahead and move on for the, the next question. Does betrayal have different definitions? Yes or no? Or does it only have one definition to you? What do you guys think? Does betrayal have different definitions? What do you guys think? Yes, no, maybe so. It's not really a trick question because you can say you can. It's I think it's a no that there's no multiple definitions because it should be only one. Um, okay, so from all of history and social studies that you guys have learned, who do you know has betrayed someone? Gatash. In World War One, Italy betrayed Germany. Okay. Italy betrayed Germany. Okay, that's interesting. And um, we recently learned about Tutmosis the Third, right? Who betrayed Hatshepsut and trying to erase her whole, I don't know how you would call it, I guess her whole like traditions that she tried to make in Egypt. So that was interesting. Now I want to I wanna, uh, know uh, from your guys' opinions, um, or perspectives, would you betray someone you know for the greater good? Yeah? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Now, can I ask why? Leilani? Because um, if it's for the better, then probably, but if it's like, just, if it's not for the better, then no, but if it's to do something good, then yeah. Okay. Just because it's the better thing to do. Okay. Jaden, what do you think? I think it depends, like, if they're doing it for like only themselves, then mm -hmm. I think it's bad. Okay, like selfishness. Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree. Now, what about you guys? Would you betray someone for more power and authority? I feel you guys like can be honest. Being selfish, yeah, I yeah. Oh. I agree with that. Now, how? Now, you guys can be as vulnerable if you guys want to be, but um, have you ever been betrayed? Yes. And do you guys want to mention by who? A friend, a cousin, teacher? Yes. Well, my brother betrayed me because I told him not to tell my mom that. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> was, <laughs> your brother. I was downloading apps that you shouldn't have. Uh -huh. um, like they were older. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, my mom got kind of mad. Oh my goodness. Okay. But they were not like bad, bad. They were just like games that I should be playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been betrayed before, too, by a, a couple of friends, but um, we'll leave that in the past. <laughs> and you said that, how did that make you feel? I was mad at my brother. You were mad at your brother? For how long? Like a week. A week? <laughs> yes, Leilani? Um, my sister. Your sister betrayed you? Yes, because okay. I remember, like, it was a while ago. Mm-hmm. And the ice cream man, you know the ice cream man that passes by, like, the school? Yeah. She she bought something, like, she bought a bunch of candies. And then I got, I took one of them because I told her she couldn't have that many. Uh-huh. And then she went and told my mom. Oh, my goodness. Of course. And she was younger than you? Yeah, she's younger. So <laughs> they, they take her side. Obviously, yeah. I know. I get it. But, um, but yeah, guys, that's basically our discussion for today it's on betrayal and um i'm glad you guys were here and uh able to